Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to create filters with Search and Filter Pro. Um, we've created the cars uh, yesterday with ACF and as you may have seen many websites nowadays have filters. So we've been looking for a couple of solutions and we found Search and Filter Pro and Facet WP which work great with Astra and Elementor Pro. Um, the, the reason why we uh, tend to use Search and Filter more and more nowadays is the pricing. Uh, you can get this filter for $20, uh, $20 for a single site or $75 for unlimited websites. Whereas the other solutions such as uh, Facet WP is a little more expensive. Facet WP does look a little nicer on the back end, which we'll uh, show you uh, in another tutorial, but um, we just feel the pricing is uh, so much more better here with Search and Filter Pro. So we're going to uh, use Search and Filter Pro now to uh, show you how to create the filter on the ACF cars uh, that we created in uh, the video yesterday. So First of all, you would have to uh, uh, buy um, one of the licenses. Uh, we've got the Search and Filter Developer, the unlimited uh, version. And once you've installed that here in your plugins, you'll see the Search and Filter here. So let's uh, create a filter for our cars. So the first thing you have to do is add new search form. We'll give it a name, Cars Filter, just so it's recognizable. And there are many tabs here you can play around with, but first of all, let's start off for general and um, look at this part where it says, okay, which post do I have to search? So I don't want to filter my posts or my pages. All I want to filter is my cars, which is here. This is the custom post that we created in CPT UI yesterday. Um, I want 12 results on the page. Um, yes, it can order submit. Um, do I want it to count? Yes or no? I'm going to leave that all open. I don't really mind right now. I can always tweak, uh, tweak later. And down below here, you have to search form UI. And this is the fields that you can drag and drop. Um, so what I would like to do right now is create a filter for the manufacturers and the colors of the cars that we have. So the user can say, for example, I, want it, I just want to see all the blue cars or all the brown ones, or I only want to see the Volkswagen cars, whatever. So I move into the post meter, and then again, I have a bunch of tabs here. Um, right now, you obviously can select a number, but I want the choice, okay? So I want it to be a drop down, but you can also select checkbox. Let's select checkbox, not drop down, it's maybe better. Change all uh, items labels, so that would be all colors. And we can add a heading here as well, colors. So that would be on top of the box. Uh, we can show a count, so how many results do we already have, but okay, we can do that or leave it. The most important thing here is the meter key. This is the filter. So it took me a while to figure it out myself, but because I see all the fields here that we've added in our custom post with an underscore. And I was using them uh, at the beginning to filter, but it wouldn't work. So what you got to do is scroll down and you see here without the underscore. These are the ones that you need to select. In this case, we're selecting color. Um, get options automatically. I'm leaving this all, but I do have to tick. This is an ACF field, so I'll add that. Now I'll close this one because I also wanted uh, my users to search for brand. So I'll do the same, click choice, drop down, uh, all brands, all manufacturers, that's better, I guess. And I'll just copy this, manufacturers, the meter key, let's say brand. I used brand, but that's not the right word, but right now this is what it is. It's an ACF field. Um, I can play around with the uh, order options. I'll close the field and I'll publish. So I've got that done. And obviously there are all the 
things here I can play around with and tweak and, and, and do, but right now we're just going to leave it as is. Search and Fields Pro, this is the short code, which I'm going to uh, copy into the page all cars. <clears throat> so I've got all cars here. And I already tested just to see if it works. So here's the old short code. I'll remove that. I actually created a new section, dragged in the text editor. I'll just copy the uh, short code in. I'll update. Click on few few changes. And there you go. So we have the manufacturers and they have the colors. So if I want to select blue, I'll see all the cars that are blue. Now you see this archive page, which doesn't look really good. And that's because yesterday in our tutorial, we didn't create an archive page. So we can do that real easy. Let me show you how. I'll go to templates, add new. I'll select the template and I it's an archive, and I'll say cars archive, but you can obviously give it any name you want. Just make sure it's recognizable for yourself. There we go. Um, we have these pre-made uh, templates or blocks. Um, I could create a new one, but let's just take this one for now. This looks simple. All right, so right now we have the Hello World regular post. Um, so I can tweak around and play around with the options here. I want the three columns. Um, I do not want the date or comments. Um, I could do some other tweaks, but I'll leave it right now. The add condition, I'll say all archives. And I can have a look. And okay, that looks fine. So now if I go to all cars, that's the page that we created yesterday. And I would select, for example, blue. You see that the uh, archive template is changed. And it looks actually pretty good. So now if I click on the to run, I'll see the single post template that we created yesterday. I think this is uh, the basics of the search uh, filter pro. Uh, uh, plugin and um, in just a few minutes I've explained how to use it, how to create the filters um, and also to create the uh, archive page. Obviously you can play around with the setup if you want the, um, the, uh, um, the filters next to each other horizontal or vertically. Um, you know if you, if you say okay what you see most mostly you see on the right side the um, results and on the left side the filter so we could create um, a new column uh, let's just move that over here and make it a little wider and we can take this and just drag over here and update the page and there you go this is like a normal kind of regular setup that you've seen obviously you can also add the filters here also in the archive page as well um, this covers the basics of uh, the, uh, the plugin, the Search and Filter Pro. Um, I hope everything is pretty clear. If you want to stay up to date with our latest videos, just uh, sign up or like our videos. Um, if you have any comments or any other questions, just place them in the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your time, and until next time.